the older that I get and the more that I the more that I grow in my relationship with God I feel like there's there's one thing that is just continuously resounding back to me over and over and over and over again the one thing that he keeps showing me over and over especially especially in the midst of my daily failures and my daily defeats the Lord just keeps showing me all the time that, that our only hope is Him because of His unrelenting grace in our life, His unrelenting mercy for each and every one of us. Wrapping my head around this, this thing called the grace of God is, is profoundly blowing my mind and it's changing me in a way that I've never known. And I've grown up in the church. And I'm just finally, I feel, you know, feel like in my 30s now, I'm just starting to, to understand it a little bit and believe it. And I was reading in Hebrews 2. Hebrews 2 says, Jesus came to earth. He became, he took on our form. He became a man. He embraced our humanity, our humanness. It says he, he, was suff he suffered and he was tempted in every way that we will ever know. And the Bible, and right after that it says, and he is wonderfully able to help us when we are tempted, when we suffer. Like he gets it. If there is one person who understands every dark corner of every heart in this room, it is Jesus. That's amazing to me. To start wrapping my head around the fact that he loves me just because there's nothing that I can do about it that he's not mad at me, that he's not moody, that he's not standing some off somewhere in a corner just watching me with the brow, waiting for me to mess up and smack me with a stick. Like he's just not, that's just not his heart. I feel like I'm finally starting to get that. And when the Bible says he knows what it's like, he knows our humanness, that gives me a lot of hope. Because guess what? <laughs> I, I mess up a lot, all the time. I'm going to let everybody in here down, I promise you. And I'm just, I'm so glad that Jesus, the, Psalms 103 says, as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. For as far as the east is from the west, so far as he removed our sins from us, as a father has compassion over his kids, so the Lord has compassion over those who fear him. What an amazing promise that we can just be, that we can just embrace freedom in Christ and know that he is holding us, know that he is hanging on to us. John 15 says, you didn't choose me. I chose you. I've adopted you. Paul talks about it all throughout the New Testament. We've been adopted. I love that. That he loves us in spite of our humanness, in spite of our gunk, in spite of what we all walked in here with tonight. Guess what? Who cares? Jesus loves us. End of story. There's nothing we can do to be separated from that. And that's where this little song comes from. It's called The Human Side. My stomach is already in knots The sky is so gray Edge of my bed Struggling to gather my thoughts I don't even want to be awake I'm feeling like I'm too far gone The hope of healing It's already moved on And now I'm dealing With so many things I never knew were buried deep inside of me.
long pain and bitterness can linger on throwing me shade i'm always feeling like i'm too far gone the hope of healing it's already Stand. You and 